Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube video. In today's video, I am going to make a mini refrigerator using Tech 12706 Peltier module. So to begin with, I am using Rigiform as the body of the mini refrigerator. I am using my own measurements which are 17 by 17 cm and 30 by 30 cm. So the 17 by 17 cm are going to be the roof and the base and 30 by 30 cm are going to be the side walls of the refrigerator. Here I am going to make a perfect square hole on one of the 17 by 17 cm Rigiform so that I can fit the cool dissipation side on one side of the Rigiform. After I have made the hole, I am going to fit the Peltier module and seal the side using the hot glue. As you see, I have fixed the Peltier and sealed the side with glue and you should not leave any place that air could get escaped. And now, to make the body of the refrigerator, you will first have to paste the base that is 17 by 17 cm to the two side walls that is 30 by 30 cm like here. After you have pasted, you have to make sure that you have sealed the side using the hot glue. And now you have to paste another piece of 30 by 30 to one side of the face like shown here. And again, you have to make sure that there is no gap that air can pass through. Therefore, you have to seal the corners using hot glue. If you are not sure about the tech 12706 Peltier module, you can check out my previous video of unboxing and reviewing so that you have a little idea about the cooling system. After you have pasted the three sides correctly, now it's time to paste the roof which is attached to the Peltier module. Here I am trying to fit the 30 by 30 inside so that I can put glue on top and paste another reform piece which will act as a door in the refrigerator. And now we will have to paste the hinges on the sides. One major problem that I faced during the project was overheating of the glue gun, which in result melted some parts of the rigid form. So you all have to keep in mind that you all should not overheat the glue gun, which will result in melting your rigid form. As you all can see, I have pasted the hinges on the side and now it works perfectly like a dough. Now to the important part, you have to connect all the red wires to the positive terminal and all the black wires to the negative terminal of the DC jack. Now to note that there will be additional electrical equipments added at the end of the video like a temperature meter and a toggle switch. So the additional equipment is the toggle switch and the temperature meter. Basically, the toggle switch is connected only to the small CPU fan inside the fridge so that I can switch on the fan after the heat sink is cool and circulate the air inside it after some time. So to power this on, I am using a 12 volts 10 ampere transformer. You all can even use a 12 volts 5 ampere, but it will take a little bit time to cool. To test the mini refrigerator, I am using 3 can rings. Since this is a small version of a cooling system, you cannot expect an industrial appliances result in the mini refrigerator. The cooling temperature inside can vary according to the room temperature. The more you remove the heat from the heat dissipation side, it gets more cooler. So if your room temperature is between 30 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius, it can drop the temperature to 20 degrees Celsius by one hour. So if the room temperature is below 27 degrees Celsius, uh, the temperature can drop below 20 degrees Celsius within an hour.
After 30 minutes, I took out the cans to test. I felt cool air rushing out as I opened the door. And when I laid the finger on the can, it was chilled and was worthwhile to drink. So this is after 1 hour and 30 minutes I have recorded and it has decreased to 19.4 degrees. The same temperature the drink was previously when we tested it out. So if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.